Hi everyone, so today we'll be doing a pinwheel style bomb, a stacked pinwheel style bomb. Um, and basically you're going to need two sides of ribbon. You're going to need a one and a half inch, which I cut 24 inches long. And then you're going to get a seven eighths inch ribbon and you're going to cut it to 21 inches. Okay, so go ahead and do that and then heat seal your ends. Or you don't have to heat seal the ends, just go ahead and cut your, your ribbon. Okay, once you have your ribbon cut, this is what I do. I get my ribbon and I fold it this way. Let's see if you guys can see that. Like that. Okay. This is where I just freehand it and it's not a template or anything. I just fold it like this. Let me see. Like that. And then I get the longer ribbon and I throw it over and I measure it to right here. Okay just like that okay and then I get this ribbon and I bring it under this one and it's basically gonna hit this right here just like that okay now I pull it from the bottom so I could measure to here now of course as you can see it's not enough so I go back I make it smaller like that and again make sure the bottom is good pull it make sure this side and that the top is about the same and then I go like this and I just keep doing it until I get it right <clears throat> okay okay and there that's about right now i do use this salon clip right here i get them at sally's i think it's like six clips for like four bucks or five bucks and without moving my hand so it could stay holding it i open this up and i scoop all the layers under just like that okay and then i let go i hold the bottom and then just move it to the center okay and i make sure it's in the middle like that more or less like that See? and then you're gonna need um, uh, your needle with your thread like that make sure you have a knot okay sorry I didn't have a knot okay so you get your needle and you go from top to bottom and you're just gonna basically sew your way um, all the way to the end so you go down to the back pull it out till it hits it and then under it again like that now the one rule there is two rules to this that are very important is the next stitch right here okay you see this for the two and make sure you go over it so when you pull on it it does like the really nice like accordion fold and that's in my opinion how the pinwheel makes it look like a pinwheel like it makes it look really nice See, keep going all the way until you hit about right here and that's where the next my roll um, goes okay now once you get right here please do not sew over I did that the first time and you're basically sewing your clip to your bow so the way I do it is I get my needle and I go under it not like I bend that down you see and I just put it through here okay and then I just continue my stitching down and I always try to the last stitch to go up because it's easier at least for me to when I pull in it okay like that now you slide off your clip and then you have your your ribbon all stitched up all the way down okay now I put my fingers basically where these are and I try to as I'm pulling on it folding it okay like this I don't know if you guys could see that like that okay and there you go 
Then I always wrap around about two times. One, two. I turn it over. And this is where I see if my stitching is actually in the middle, which it looks like it is. Because if it doesn't, you could always un um, unwrap it and then wrap it so it could be right in the middle. So you get this and you tie this off and your pinwheel is done. Okay, I always tie off twice. One, two. Um, and just in case you're wondering, I use the needles from Walmart. This is the set that I use. And my thread is embroidery thread. It's right there. You can see the whole right there. Um, anyways, okay, so once you tie it off, you cut it off. And there you go. Maybe this is uneven. I just trim the longer one, and there you go. Now, for the top ribbon where you do the seven eighths, it's the same thing. Okay, you get your ribbon, you go under. I always try since I have my my tails going to the left and to the right. I make sure that my if you're having character that they're facing this to the right so when i flip it it's in the same place okay or i guess it wouldn't matter i don't know anyways so i did basically the same thing but of course it's going to be smaller which most likely it's probably about like that right there about like that one and i get my ribbon fold it up and again remember the bottom right there to put these two together like that okay and then just pull on it make sure they kind of level at the top and then fold this one over and there you go perfect and then sorry you get your salon clip scoop all three now with the seven eighths my stitching is going to be a lot closer together than the one and a half inch because of course the ribbon is a lot smaller okay so again oh, i forgot to not it so again get your needle and thread and you start at least for me i start from the bottom the top to bottom let's see okay go through pull it and then so really closer and then like that through here and then the other one is close okay like so and you're gonna go all the way through to the end okay once you're done go ahead and take the, the clip off Oops. And again, same goes, just holding it, pulling on it as you scrunch these up, and then wrap one, two, you turn it around, see, and then tie it off. thread off and there you go see there's your second one and then all you have to do is glue it in the middle and what I always do is I make sure my top layer is shorter than the bottom one so that um, it just looks cuter because you could actually see the bottom ribbon like peeking out you know, and then just, I always do V-cuts. I've tried the slant only, and at least for me, they never come out right. So, um, but yes, 
so ah it's getting cloudy inside but yes so that's basically how i do it then i just glue it wrap it around with my three inch and then clip it and there you go hope you like it bye